quarterback that doesn't complete a lot of passes. Under 57% completion percentage for Beatty coming into this game. I'm going to pick the Trojans 31 to 28 over the Ironmen. Well, we'll see how that works out. I know that uh, magical seasons do happen, and Normal would love to go back and play what effectively for them would be a home game at Illinois State University next week. So they're going to be playing for, for that. What a show we're seeing with the, the band from Glen. <laughs> from Downers Grove North. A great big purple N in the middle, just like Northwestern. I think the band is all practicing to go to Northwestern and play on their band. Perfect formation, a professional rendition of the national anthem. Got the, the flag people on the right and on the left. It's a home game for Downers Grove North. So if Normal's gonna get back to Illinois State and play a home game next week, they're gonna have to win a road game here. We're going to take another break. More football action coming up next here on SBS, the broadcasting network for everyone. No. No, nope, you got to go. No, 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 mute. There you go. Yeah, you were going to have the video capture device mic on. Oh, do you want, you don't want it maximized, right? Um, However you want it. Crap, 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 crap. Turn it. Returned by the Trojans, apologize for that. And uh, it's going to be Trojan ball inside the 20. At the 19 yard line, right? What a gorgeous day for football here, though. A little bit chilly, right? We're on the roof in the press box. Off a lot of fans here, the home game. They, they came out to watch this one. It's a little bit chilly. The wind is light from the west. The left side of the field is to the north, the right side to the south. So it's a, it's a great game. Great, great weather for it anyway. They're going to place it right at the 20. Here comes Kyle Beatty and this normal community offense. In the warm-ups, we were watching Normal throw some real good, accurate, deep passes that were caught over the shoulder by the receivers. Interesting, we'll see what Downers Grove North can do, but those passes in warm-ups didn't get completed. So we'll see how this game goes. 11.55 on the clock, one in motion. That's Alex Binion, and he'll go over to the tight end spot. Shotgun formation, handoff, past the 20. Tommy Davis with a nice gain, and he's brought out of bounds that time by Noah Battle who plays both running back and defensive back on this team, but a nice gain early on for Davis. Yeah, I think we're gonna see a lot of Davis this game, leading running back, leading carries for normal. That time ran to the short side, not as many defenders, good gain, five yards or eight yards on first down. One in the backfield for the Ironmen. Fakes the handoff, Beatty. He's rushed out to the left, he scrambles, and it's an incomplete pass. Lucky to even get that pass off. You know, yeah, that would be a good one up. to replay if you're in the NFL. It could be his arm was hit on the way back, and maybe, just maybe, that's actually a fumble. But in any event, they're calling it an incomplete pass here. It'll be third and about two yards. Downers Grove North was in on that rush instantly despite the play action. Normal's got to be concerned about the defensive line if they're going to get in on him that quickly. Third and two, let's see if they pick this up again on the ground. I would run again to the right. It worked last time for eight. One in the backfield, hard count from Beatty. As watch out for 33 on this play, he might get the ball. Meanwhile, it's third down and five. Beatty, it's a quarterback sneak. He's got room to run down the sideline near the 50. What a play call by the head coach and Jason Derwing. Not only a great play call, but my eyes also followed the fake right up the middle. He got stuffed at the line by three or four Downers Grove North people. Meanwhile, the quarterback ran outside Beatty for a good gain, first down. Excellent play call. Usually you like those counters after you actually hand it off the first time, but this time he started out with the counter. So far this year, Normal is outgaining them in terms of total yards. 
36.90 to just 16.84. Terrible pass and a short gain, maybe a yard. That's something B struggled with last week, Bob. He threw that interception in the end zone, a lot of incompletions. He was just eight of 19 in that game against Glenn Vardis, but you know what? At this point of the season, Bob, just survive in advance. Yeah, I think when you're winning games 66 nothing, But I, they aren't I, winning games 66 <laughs> nothing anymore. Not in the playoffs, right. But I don't think I'd question Beattie's arm too much until we see well, more of the it. The accuracy is, is the question. Clean pocket for Beattie. Pump fake, gets it out. And Hardeman with a nice reception. So I'm gonna play devil's advocate on that accuracy. <laughs> Threw it eight yards downfield, right in his numbers, right in his chest, can't have a better pass than that. Although, man, that Downers Grove North rush was really close. You can tell when he put that ball back behind him, there's a Downers Grove player almost reaching to touch the ball. So, so the pocket gonna, so far has been collapsing a couple of times on normal. It's gonna be third and short for the Ironmen. So we'll see if they run that ball up the middle. This time there's only three down linemen or if he'll Beattie will take it out wide again. Three wide receivers set, one in the backfield, Beattie in the shotgun. Handoff, Davis, he got the first down. Barely got the first down, down again, that, that those three down linemen for downers are just playing fantastic. But nonetheless, Normal has moved the chains another time. That's all you gotta do, partner, keep moving those chains. Right. But for Downers Grove North, the more plays that Beattie has to run, the more chances he throws a pick or an inaccurate pass, because he did struggle with that last week against Glen Bardis. Yeah, those are the data points. I'm, I'm thinking the longer Normal has the ball, the more chance they have to score. Correct. <laughs> Handoff, Davis with a nice move to the outside. Davis trying to get off the blocker. He's still on his feet inside the 25 yard line. Finally brought out a bounce that time by Ethan Kist, but not before Davis with a nice game. He used his blocker well, went in, juked in, then uh, you look, went back outside. What a great run, a lot of yards. Davis, a big back, uh, tough to bring down. Definitely the workhorse of the normal offense. Rushing yards, it's what they're known for. They're outgaining opponents. 2,044 rushing yards at just 725. One in the backfield, they like to do that a lot with the single back formation. Fakes the handoff. It's a little flopping pass, luckily did not get picked off as the arm strength is not questioned by BD partner, but the accuracy sometimes is. Well, fortunately for his accuracy on that one, he put that uncatchable out of bounds. The receiver wasn't really open, but again, Downers Grove North is in on that quickly. He had no nowhere, to, he had to throw it right away. Just have to launch it sometimes. Yeah. If he had held onto the ball, it would have been a sack or something else bad happening. So sometimes plays don't work, it's okay. Good defense. Second and 10. Second and 10 for the Ironmen. Davis in the backfield. Three wide receivers set, including Hardeman to the right. Little pitch play to the right. That's going nowhere fast. Tackle for loss. Donders Grove North made the adjustment. They put an extra tackle out on the outside, so it was a four-man rush. It was wide, and it was almost as if the defense read the mind of the, the normal offense on that pitch to the right. Again, trying to run to the short side, where typically there's fewer defenders. Donders Grove North stuffed that play. Now, third and 15, now you start, this is where you start talking about, do you want to kick the field goal or not? Can you make the first down, or do you go for it on fourth? Got to get to at least the 25 to even consider the field goal. Win's not really a factor today. It's a light wind, crosswind from behind us, which is nice when we're broadcasting the game that the wind's not in their face. Four wide receivers set, two on each side. Davis in the backfield. Fumble. Fumble. It's loose. Who got it's it? It's still loose. And it was originally recovered by Downers Grove, but then they fumbled it. And it looked like a lineman for the Ironmen got it. What a break for the Ironmen. They'll have to punt. I have to say though, that run up the middle, either that was a, a RPO where he pulled the ball back out from the running back or the running back was gonna get stuffed anyway at the line, it wasn't going anywhere. So now they're gonna have to punt 35 yards back. It'd be a, what, a 52 yard field goal too far in this game. So a very successful drive, I'd have to say for normal. Unfortunately, it it's, fell short. So well, Downers Grove will get the ball back. You're in that good no spot, score. you could possibly pin him inside the 10. Try to win that field position battle. Decent punt. I don't think that's quite what he wanted. <laughs> right. That's why I didn't say great. I said decent. <laughs> right. 23 yard line. So no score, yeah. right? And down his grove with their own ball, their own territory, no damage done. At the high school level, partner, when it comes to the putting game, the bar is set very low. Get the snap off, 
make sure it's not a high snap, make sure it doesn't get blocked. Well, he was definitely going for the coffin corner on that, and then he hung it up a little bit, didn't get all his foot on it, and the wind pushed it back, and I guess they're marking it at the 30-yard line, not the 23. So now we'll see what Normal can do on defense against Downers Grove's potent offense. Three wide receiver set, one in the backfield. Owen Lansu, who had a four touchdown game earlier in the season. Handoff with a beautiful hole, but the Ironmen with some late penetration to avoid it being a 10 plus yard gain. But meanwhile, good start for the Trojans. Well, the good thing on that run though, is he definitely dragged some defenders along with him. So it's a lot of yards after contact. So one would think that that kind of a running game can wear normal down. Watch out for Noah Battle, partner. He was huge in that win over Kenwood earlier in the postseason. It's a Downers Grove North team. They were not picked by a lot of analysts to advance this far in the postseason, but the upset Hersey in the second round, and here they are. Clean pocket. Out to the right. That should have been caught. It was a little behind the wide receiver. Well, I, I, I mean, A, a lot of it behind the receiver, right? And then the receiver's turning in, expecting the ball in front of him, and probably didn't see it late. It was a timing play, so he looked up, and the ball was out of his hands already. So actually, Damian Green, the senior, is going to be the starter, even though Lansu had a four-touchdown game earlier in the year. He's just a sophomore. So well, Damian Green um, taking the snaps today for the Trojans. Now here they are, three yards behind the, the first down marker. So this is a big play early in the game already, early in the first quarter to maintain possession. They need a first down here. Short pass over to the right, spin around on a beauty that time by Joseph Edwards. They're going to give him the first down on that forward progress. Nice catch, and he spun around backwards and, and ran backwards to make sure he could fall forward for the first yard. And really so, great self-awareness on where he caught the ball and where the tackle was going to happen. L little cleaner tackle from normal. They would have had that play stuffed. It would have been two yards short of the first down. Great run on that after catch. So one in the backfield, three wide receiver set. Nice pass by the senior in green. Not a great snap battle and he'll get a short gain for the Trojans <laughs> got to win the turnover battle partner it killed Glenn Bardis those costly interceptions by Salvino including the pick six it's up to Damian Green and Noah Battle don't fumble the football don't throw picks if you can avoid it boy you couldn't have said that better right <laughs> Levy Smith School of Defense take, win the takeaway battle you don't always have to be the most talented team but you have to be the most disciplined team One in motion for the Trojans. Clean pocket for Green, scans the field, he looks down the middle with it, right on stride. Past the 30, stutter step moving to beauty by Thulin. Thulin, no one's gonna catch him. Touchdown Trojans, six nothing, Downers Grove North. What a fantastic move downfield. Caught the ball one way, had the defender go on one way, then cut back the other with a wide field. Nobody could catch him. What, took three plays for a touchdown for Downers Grove North. Excellent pass by Green, even better yards after catch by Thule, and he got the separation he wanted. Deep back didn't know what to do, the hesitation move, and then Thulin was gone down the sideline. Couldn't have, yeah, exactly right. I'm thinking of going back to that third down tackle that wasn't made where they got the first down. That would have been a punt at that point. It's yeah. amazing how one tackle It looked tackle, like the original, um, um, where, he, where he was gonna be spotted was gonna be a first down anyways. This might be false start against the Trojans. Actually, offside. offside. I would go for two now because you get, the, yeah, you get a half yard closer to I, the end zone. Right, I'm thinking the same thing. Pound it in, get two points, not one, to put a little bit more pressure on normal. I would actually change it. Let's see what they do. But that third and two, we were talking about that being a key play in the game. Yeah. So when we're playing back the top 18 key plays of the game, that right. was one. He was going to get it, then he did that spinorama move. Yeah, that spinorama move got him the first down. Very, yeah. very nice aware run. Well, if they're going to go for the PAT, be conservative. I understand it. I just would have considered going for two because you're half yarder. Well, well we, we don't know they didn't consider it. They just chose not to do it, right? Antoninos, Anto, a, Antonios Colinsas. Whoa. You have to get your foreign language book out. It's going to attempt the PAT. Good hold. The kick. <laughs> it's straight through. 7 nothing Trojans. We're going to take a break. You're watching the Trojans against the Iron Men here on SBS. Make sure to mute first and then go to break. How you doing? How's it going, guys? So this, this is on what? This list is not, this list is not up to date. The numbers are off. Okay. So. All right, just go what you see over there. Go. 22, what's his name? 
Doesn't matter. You don't need to know the name. You just need to know the number. Just the number? Yeah. We forgot to get a roster from over there. Well, you can borrow That's mine. right. All right, bring it back. We don't want to miss another kickoff. Seven nothing in favor of the Downers Grove North Trojans. Kyle Smith alongside Bob Vilsoe. The pitch and catch and a beauty from Damian Green to Oliver Thulin. Thulin with some great yards after catch. Let's see how the Iron Men answer. Well, if they can score that easily, it's going to be a long day for Normal. But now Normal's going to get the ball back down by one score. They did move the ball well last time, right? So now they're going to have to move the ball downfield with a little bit more sense of urgency this time. Very good kick and no choice but to just take the touchback. Ball placed at the 20 and Parter Beatty, he's gotta be better with that football. That football, that fumble really could have cost the Ironman on that pass possession. Well, it was third and 15, so they had to punt probably anyway. That running back wasn't gonna get any yardage up the middle on that particular play. But I was thinking from a different perspective, the extra point looked like it went into the next zip code right through the upright straight. This kickoff went into that same zip code afterwards. And I remember earlier when I was parking my car, I purposely didn't park behind the goalpost because I didn't want my car to get hit. And then I realized that was the practice field over there. But Downers Grove definitely has a, a what I would have to say an edge in the kicking game should it come down to that. How about this for a human interest story, Parter? I talked about how Downers Grove North won the state title in 2004. They haven't been to the semifinals since 2004. We still got a long way to go, but this could be a special year for DGN. Well, Normal's going to be very sad if Downers Grove North ends up playing at Illinois State and they don't. Right down the street, right? When you live in Normal. Exactly. Two I, in the backfield. I expected the Normal uniforms to be red and white. Pitch play over to the left. Nice job pitching it over to Davis as Davis brought out of bounds. You know, that was still a seven yard game, but I like how uh, Downers Grove North strung it out to the outside and pushed it. it looked right. like um, there wasn't really anybody deep, so if they didn't string it out or if there was a cutback that made it, that could have been trouble. I like the defense there by DGN. You never want to give up seven yard gains, but you'll take the seven yard gain over Davis taking it, you know, 60 yards down the sideline. <laughs> exactly Good right. Good job, head on a swivel, got over to the sideline quickly to bring him out of bounds. Now here the wide field is to the right. One in the backfield, clean pocket for Beatty. And not on target again, Davis, the intended target. I know that I've been bashing his head in with the inaccuracy, but look, this is the semifinals. If you want to advance, you got to complete some of these passes. Yeah, I don't think I'd be bashing my head in over, or over Beatty's accuracy. I, I think you're going to find he's a pretty darn good quarterback. But in any event, incomplete third and short. So this is equally a big play at this end of the field versus over at the other end. If they make the first down, they can continue to perhaps score. If they don't get the first down, they absolutely are going to have to punt. So we'll see what they do. Two backs. He's only been sacked three times this year, just three interceptions for Beatty. One of those last week. Hand off, that was a fake hand off by Beatty and he gets a short gain. So this time they faked the running back to the right and then cut back up the middle as opposed to fake the running back up the middle and went back right. So different play this time again. You go up the middle against this Downers Grove North team, you're taking your life into your own hands. Looks like if Normal's gonna gain yards, it's gonna be through the air or wide. In any event, they got to punt a little bit into the wind. The wind is from our back, but maybe perhaps a bit from the south to the north. So last punt didn't go too well. Let's see what this one does. Beatty on the punt, it's a beauty. And, and over his head with a great bounce. Just really no choice for Owen Thulin on that play partner. If you try to do that Willie Mays over the shoulder catch, at this level, a lot of the time it's fumbled. You don't want to have bad field position, but you can't afford a fumble there either. Oh, exactly right. He had to let it go. Unfortunately, a very, very good hop for normal. And But but again, now Donners Grove North with the ball further into their own territory than last time with an explosive offense and a one touchdown lead. Don't forget about Noah Battle, partner for the Trojans. He had 177 yards rushing and a touchdown on 17 carries last week against Lincoln Way West. Just past the 20 yard line, they're gonna spot it at the 22. Looks like 18, 17 maybe. You're right, yeah, the 17. 17, not the 22. One in the backfield, that's battle for Downers Grove North. Three wide receiver set. Handoff, battle. 
Tries to break off a tackle and can't. Beautiful dodge, beautiful job. Now we're having a flag on the field. I wonder what this will be. Didn't look like he got him in the face mask. That's the kind of flag that does make it look like a face mask call. Let's see what they do. Is a great tackle, open yeah. field tackle. Jace Wilson on the tackle. It, I just, personal foul. They didn't, they didn't tug on his face mask. I wonder what that's about. Yeah, just a personal foul, you know. You, <laughs> fighting after the play. I'm not laughing at the personal foul. I'm laughing at the roster that went flying in the wind. <laughs> Good save by Chris, the cameraman. I like these signals on the sidelines. You see a, see a fire. You see a Batman. <laughs> it's a big. It's a big deal, man. You haven't been to the semifinal since 2004. DGN. It's a sold out crowd today. Clean pocket, and it's deflected up in the air, just out of the reach of Caden Moss. Almost a pick six if he was able to catch that one. Oh gosh, if, if it went straight up and he could have caught it, yeah, but when he hit it, it went up. He didn't see where it was, so he didn't really see where it was until finally landed on the ground, but those are the kinds that give you nightmares as a quarterback. Get tipped up into the air, the defensive backs see that. So there goes the poster boards up on the, the signs. So the Michigan sign stealing guys could be here and figure out what they're running next. Second and long coming up for the Trojans. They switch the defensive line to the Ironmen. And they drew him offside. Five yards closer go the Trojans. That's a tough call to call that offside as opposed to a motion penalty because right when the quarterback did the hard count and clapped, somebody on the line d made some movement. So they're getting a lucky five yards out of this one. But five yards is five yards, they'll take it. Normal with four down linemen here. Three down linemen and linebacker. Handoff, room to run, battle with a hesitation, moving to beauty. Another flag probably coming back on the hold would be my guess. Dodgers Grove North coaches are laying into the side judge there. They don't like that call. Well, I don't think any he head coach or assistant coach likes when you're called and then they love the ref when they call a flag on the opposing team. Right. And on, uh, you could make the case that there's holding on every play. The question is, when does it cross the line? And that's what the referees are paid the big bucks to do. Throw their laundry on plays that break, that cross the line. Till second and 13 after that holding call. Ball placed at the 27. It's a big call. It would have been 15 yards upfield, right? And then first down. There's that, there's that motion play. I just don't think that should be legal. It's part of the game, Bob. I think if I were the normal coach, I'd be saying something about that to the referees. Well, you know what? Normal can do the same thing to Downers Grove North. Yeah, yeah you would if you thought it was legal. <laughs> If it's legal for Downers Grove North, it's legal for the other team too. What goes around comes around. Handoff. Look at Battle. He just refuses to go down. A one-yard gain becomes four or more for this young man. It was a good gain up the middle, right? That's what the normal was struggling with earlier. It runs right up the middle. You gotta have bodies to stop the runners, and there's a lot of yards gained after contact. Third and about four. Uh, again, yet again, another big play early in the first, well, maybe not early in the first period here, 3.50 to go in the first period. First quarter. <laughs> you like to say quarter, right? <laughs> That's what it's called. Yeah. This isn't hockey. No, you got a hockey game later today. There's three yeah. periods there. There are, yeah. Showing blitz to the iron men. Clean pocket. Right down the field and just out of the reach that time of the attended target in Joseph Edwards. Davian Green, this boy, this young man, he's got an arm, partner. Well, I like that they went deep on that, you, especially early in the game. You got to establish that you can run past the defenders. Of course, you also have to establish that they can catch it and not have a wild throw, right? Then you can cut off some of those passes, go across the middle, come back to the quarterback, whatever you have to do. But this is like you have to establish a deep pass early on to open up the short passes. But incomplete, and here's the punt. A little bit with the wind and a good kicking game from Downers Grove North. Should put Schnormal pretty far back. Let's see where it goes. 
Good snap. And the kick is good that time by Janicki. And it'll take a Downers Grove North hop. Davis just decided not to get it. And from one side of the 17 yard line to the other side, it's up to Beanie and the Ironman offense to get the job done. We'll take a quick break. You're watching the Ironman against the Trojans here on SBS. All right, we gotta go. Iron men with one in the backfield, two wide receiver set. So let's see what they do different now. They've survived a second possession from down this Grove North. Davis with it, and he's hammered near the 20 yard line. And that's the trouble. Teams that adjust better usually win. So Downers Grove North, again, strung that run out, this time on the long side of the field. So they're shutting down the runs up the middle, and now they're starting to string out the runs outside. They're going to force BD to beat them when through the air. And, of course, you're saying that the accuracy is of some question. So we'll see how Normal finds a way to move downfield or not. Davis has excellent endurance, partner. He has not left the field once on offense. Just a bell cow running back. Fakes the handoff, Beatty, and he is brought down. He tried to do the stiff arm and the hesitation move, and the DGN uh, defense said, I don't think so. Yeah, when you're up here, you've always got that uh, view that the quarterback doesn't have, but I felt like if he just juked into the middle and then took one step that way and went outside, I think he could have beat his man, gotten down the, the sideline. But great tackle, again, open field tackle. Downers Grove North doing a great job on the runs. Third down coming up for the Ironmen. Yeah, it's either this or a punt, right? Seven to go. Clean pocket, fakes the screen pass. Here comes the pressure, wobbling pass. I don't know if there was an intended target there, Bob, but there was a lot of offensive linemen around it. They did have 33, who is an intended receiver, but that was a wobbling pass well, nonetheless. He was, and he was a long way away from where that wobbly pass landed. So, But again, down to Grove North, pressure the quarterback, and he had really nowhere to go on that. It almost looked like he just uh, tried to throw it so nobody could catch it, but that was a yeah, wounded duck that was pretty high in the air. I, I don't think that's uh, a good strategy. No, kneecap the intended target. He is listed as a fullback on the roster, so he... If he was the intended target, it's not intentional grounding. And well, I think he could have again. gotten that one, but another decision by Thulin to let it go. And it will be close to the 30. They'll spot at the 31. We'll stick with the action with 148 to go. Well, so Back like and you, forth we go. Yes, yeah, so just like you said, they don't want to take a risk and catching that Willie Mays style catch goes behind them and you end up losing the football. Here they have the ball on their side, but what, 31 yard line? You're not gonna say good field position, but it's not bad field position. They're up by a score with the ball. About a minute and something to go in the first quarter. <laughs> and all good. <laughs> One in the backfield. Green with it. Hands off to Battle. And that time, Battle's going nowhere. Finishing the tackle for the Ironmen was Alex Binion. Second and long coming up for the Trojans. Both defenses are doing good jobs against the runs here. So far, the only score has been that long touchdown pass. I love seeing the posters go up with the with the signals. We've got a U of I icon on one of them, a little like green balloon or something. <laughs> <laughs> Try to decipher those. Second and nine. He indeed got a yard. And they're going to switch the formation. Will Downers Grove. Battle again with blockers in front, Battle gets to the second level. Forced out of bounds, but not before Battle gets a big gain. He was forced out by Jackson Eimer. Noah Battle proving why he's one of the all-conference running backs in the uh, Midwest Suburban Conference. Well, you can't help but think though, if the field was like two feet wider, he was gone. Just one more step planted on the end zone, he headed upfield. First and 10, ball place at the 48. Text lines open, 330-957-7653.
They switch the formation again, do the Trojans. Hand off to Battle, to the right side. Battle, short gain, second and long coming up. They're being very patient with that running game right now, Bob. Patient, patient, patient. Seeing if the Ironmen are gonna stack the box and then play action with Damian Green. That'll do it for the first quarter. Second quarter coming up next here on SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. I apologize. Timeout called by the Ironmen, so we'll stick with the action. First timeout called. Yeah, that's odd. 49 seconds to go in the first quarter, and they call timeout. It's almost as if they had the wrong defense in. They were, they were like, you know, they saw, saw the receivers come in something. They just didn't like something. Yeah, I, I disagree with that calling the timeout there because you want to save those for the two-minute drill late in the half. Well, that's assuming you have perfect execution. I mean, I, I, obviously nobody wants to call timeout then. They probably had the wrong players on the field, and, you know, better a timeout than all of a sudden you end up with another, you know, 42-yard or 52-yard pass play. So you just got to use up those timeouts sometimes when that happens. So there's really no shame in it. But like you said, you want those timeouts for later if you can. Well, the Trojans have only lost two games this year, partner. And guess who didn't play in each of those two games? Oh, man. Good question. Who? Noah Battle. Uh -huh. He's back on the field, and he's dominating right now at the running back position. Boy, that does tell you something. I have to say, I didn't know that. Rolls outside the pocket, little inaccurate, intended target was Thulin. What's fair is fair, right? BD struggled with the accuracy most of the day. Not a good pass that time by Damian Green. Uh, you, you mean the, not a good pass right then? The one that was like a 15 yard gain? Did he, did that, was that complete? I'm sorry, I, I can't. He hit him right in the numbers downfield. What a great catch, but after Sorry, the we pass, had two cameramen in the way. I, a, a, after the pass, the quarterback got smothered. I think if this was NFL, they might have called late hit. <laughs> One in the backfield, four wide receivers set. Clean pocket, dump off and dropped. It was dropped that time by Charlie Cruz. Yeah, that's one thing about calling it dropped, but that ball got tipped up again. Very, very dangerous. Reached up, went up over his hands. The defenders can get to that. Luckily, there was a lot of green grass right there or green turf and rubber pellets, and the ball safely landed on the ground. So second and 10 now. The passing game is very effective for Drowners Grove North, but set up by some really good runs. One in the backfield, three right receiver set. Noah Battle. He gets the ball from Green and a whole slew of the Iron Men were there to greet him and it wasn't a friendly greeting. Another one of those big calls in the game. Brady Augustine along with Caden Moss there to greet battle and 24 seconds remaining in the quarter. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to play this, run this next play or not to finish out the quarter, but this is a big, big, big play. They're kind of sort of with the wind, even though it's kind of a crosswind. So maybe if they were passing the deep right, this would be the time to do it, but they've still got 10 seconds. They're not going to line up in time. So the clock's going to run out. We're going to get into the second quarter with a one score lead. And that will officially do it for the quarter. So we'll take a break. Downers Grove North up 7-0 here on the Ironmen. Remember, mute first, then go to break. Fuck, I, all right. All right, let's refresh this page. I don't know what's going on. That's, it's gotta be on their end, because it looks like we're fine here. Yeah, we have, the Wi-Fi is good. Kyle Smith alongside Bob Vilsaway. Seven nothing Trojans. Story of the game, partner. Some nice passes by Damian Green and Noah Battle setting up those passes well with the running game. It's a normal team that uh, they have not been dominant in the postseason like they were in the regular season, and they've had to battle hard to get to this point. 
Normal's gonna have to battle again today. Clean pocket, Green scans the field. That was partially deflected, picked off by the Iron Men, and here they go. Here goes Potts, as Potts brought out of bounds, but not before he gets a big gain, and man, did the Iron Men need that. Boy, did they, but it was tipped at the line of scrimmage and playing zone defense, the ball went right to a defender. He had a total clear path all the way to the end zone, but got caught from behind on that play. It was an easy interception, probably. It was like, how, how, did the, how did the ball get placed right into my bread basket like that? They just find ways to stay in games, partner. The Ironmen have not played perfect football in this postseason, but they find ways to make big plays when they need them. Well, they're an excellent team. Like I said earlier, just don't sell them short. They're a very strong team. They're potent on offense, very strong, very stingy defense. That one hurts if you're a Downers Grove North fan. They were driving right down the field. They're going to call a penalty. Block in the back. Okay, so it's still their first. So it's a block in the back on the return. Right. Yeah, probably on that guy that tackled from, from behind, too. I didn't see it, but maybe somebody tried to make a, you know, a block yeah. from behind that obviously you can't do. That's why interceptions are so interesting, partner, especially those returns for big yardage. You have guys on defense. Their primary position is not blocking. Yeah. So they're in a position they're not used to. They're out of their comfort zone, and that's when those bad black on the backs can sometimes happen. Well, and this is effectively like about 25 or 30 yard penalty. Hand off, Davis didn't get much. Maybe a yard, we'll see where they spot it. To finish the tackle was Jimmy Janicki. Janicki is a two sport athlete, Bob, known for baseball. He's gonna be going to Troy University to play his four years of baseball there. Yeah, Troy University is an excellent program for baseball, too. He's making a good choice there. I mean, it was still weirded out 30 yards downfield. They could have been because of that one penalty. And you, you gain momentum with the interception, but you lose it right back with the penalty. Clean pocket for Beattie. Tries to go downfield with it. The defender looked like he didn't go back for the ball. Let's see what they call here. Well, it looks like no call. I think that's the right call. It was a double move for us up on the right. Right. right then, then the defender stayed with him, and he has his own lane. He was Correct. going down. He's got to make an attempt to come back to the ball and look for the ball. He can't have his back turned. Well, and then the ball was thrown to his left, so the receiver would have had to go through him to get to the ball. Right. So I think it was a good no call. Could have gone either way. I would have called defensive pass interference because it looked like Thulin wasn't coming back for the ball to make an attempt to look back for the ball, but either way you slice it. But you always call pass ball instead of wild pitch, too. Here comes the blitz. And Beatty is picked oh, off. No. It's a pick six. Touchdown, Trojans. Of all the million places that ball could have ended up, landed right in the hands of Downers Grove North for a pick six. Well, partner, it's Jake Wander who's credited for the pick six. We talked about BD, the inaccuracy all season. He's under 60% completion percentage, and that was a terrible decision by Kyle Beattie. It was a terrible decision, but what are the odds that the ball landed right there in his hands? I think he was just trying to throw it away and not a smart play. Down two scores now as a result. Now they really got their work cut out for him. What a momentum switcher. They get the pick that they desperately needed, but they're called for the block in the back. Possibly should have had a defensive pass interference not called, and now the pick six. Good snap, good hold. And the PAT is good by Antonios Collinsas. It's 14-0 Trojans. We'll take a break. You're watching the Trojans against the Ironmen here on SBS. Yeah, just put on the media. If it's ever low, just put it back up. Well, they were down 14 last week. Let's see how the Ironmen regroup this week. Well, they, you know, they're going to have to make adjustments, and that's what they did last week to get those 31 unanswered points. So, again, you can't sell them short, but right now, down 14, they're absolutely up against it, and, and you know, turnovers, yikes. We were talking about that earlier, right, the Levy Smith School of Def Defense, right? You try to get more takeaways than the other guy. Just a horrible decision by Beattie. Sure was. But, again, what are the odds the ball landed right in the defender's hands? I, I mean, it could have gone in a million places. 14-0 in favor of uh, Downers Grove North. Kyle Smith alongside Bob Vilsoe. Kickoff coming up. This, ha this game just has a, a, a college feel to it also. Got the, the high school band over there on their left playing. 
Lots of fans here, more than usual, it seems. Real nice field, good modern school. It's all good here, that's for sure. Kickoff. And it will be an automatic touchback for the normal community Ironman. Again, the Downers Grove North kicking team is coming through. Put them in the category of special teams and they're winning the special team battle. It's gut check time now for the Ironmen, Bob. What can they do? They were down 14 last week. Here they are, down 14 again. Davis rolling out to the right. Good open field tackle delivered by the Trojans. Well, Donald's Grove North is doing a great job. Like you said, stopping the run up the middle and now stringing out another, yet another run. It didn't go anywhere, so it's we're back to they're going to make BD beat you. If you're right about the completion percentage, I mean, it's 57.5 on the year. I don't know that that's so terrible, right, depending on the, the average yards per throw. I think it's like 13 per catch. So, but they're going to make BD beat them through the air. Handoff, that was all uh, 21 for Ironman. That's Kalen Taylor with a nice gain. Yeah, but now third and five, so you got to get a first down here or you're punting yet again. A, a, another one of those big plays. We've had a lot of third down big plays for our first half of a football game. There's still 10 minutes to go in the second quarter. So we got the stats from the head coach for the Ironmen in Drangwitz and Kyle Beatty under 57% completion percentage coming into this game. He's got to improve on that. Handoff. Nope, it's a fake by Beatty. And he's short. Yeah, I'm thinking the pitch was a better better choice. Didn't look like the there was anybody on that pitch. If the pitch happened, it could have probably gotten around the edge and first down. But Beatty held on to it. Maybe you remembered the interception earlier and didn't want to toss a, a, a pitch into somebody else's hands. Took the one yard gain, but now they're punting. No choice, it's fourth and six. You're down 14, you're deep in your own territory. I know you're down 14, but this is not the time to go for it. Well, no, but if the Downers Grove North gets the ball and then you know puts it in the end zone, it's a, gonna be a kind of a dagger, three scores behind in the first quarter, or second quarter. Not a bad one, and it goes out of bounds at the 42. They'll, they'll probably spot it closer to the 43 and the 44. Oh, I'm get, yeah, we'll see what they do. It seems to me it would be a more close lay. Yeah, it's 42. It looked like it originally went out at the 43 or 44. Yeah, I think that ball flew out of bounds more like at the 50, but they're marking it the 42. So it, it's where out of bounds did the ball go while it was in the air? Right, where it, where it originally goes out, the immediate spot, not right. where it finishes going out Correct. of bounds. Correct, so I would have put it like more like at the 50, but whatever, okay. So the ball's at the 42, 58 yards away from a third score. We're not gonna say that'll put the, ball, the game out of reach, but that would make it a real tough comeback for normal, even if they do make some good adjustments. Which I'm not sure normal's in the adjustment mode yet, even though they're down two scores. Hand off to Battle, and Battle gets a nice gain. Just keep getting those little eight yard gains left and right and normal can't stop you. If you're wondering who on Drangwitz's defense needs to step it up, Dexter is the guy on the pass rush you need to look out for. 13 sacks and he has three fumble recoveries for a touchdown. Strip sacks, it sounds like, doesn't it? Out to the left, Noah Battle is so good at that. Bounces off a tackle, and he'll get the first down. I like that cut down. up field. Went wide, then made the first down. First and 10. 
for the Downers Grove Trojans. And they're actually going to say he's a half yard short. I'm a little surprised. Looks to me like he made it, but of course we were screened by exactly when he went out of bounds. But all right, half yard short. Let's see what their half yard short offense looks like. Under center for one. <laughs> one of the few times we're going to see that all day. Fullback dive, and it'll look like where they're going to spot it will be the first down. Yeah, both forward linemen. progress. Yeah, both linemen showed he's about a yard ahead. So first down, the chains move, clock moves. They maintain possession and have a two-score lead. Everything is going right for Downers Grove North. Right next to the purple end at midfield. Now here's where it gets tough for this coaching staff for the Trojans partner. When you go for it on this drive, when you try to kick the field goal, 21 to nothing is nice, but 17 to nothing, you're still up three possessions. Well, I'm intrigued on that huddle from Downers Grove North. The receivers stayed out of the huddle, so one would assume it's gotta be a run, right? We'll see what they do. Nope. Clean pocket. Another knockdown pass, partner. Is that on the quarterback or just some great plays by the Iron Man knocking those balls down? Well, it, it starts with the linemen. The linemen have to engage those guys, so you got to block them low into the gut, so that keeps their arms down low. But on, on that, the the linemen didn't uh, rush the quarterback, so they stayed back looking for a deflection. So when that happens, the quarterback's going to have a lot of time in the pocket to pick them apart on defense. So he's got to get that ball higher, though, a little bit low and easy for the defenders to knock them down. Well, like we said, it's on the offensive linemen to engage those players to keep them the arms down when they are blocking them. It, yes, the quarterback has to see that and throw around it, but you can't throw over it because that's, you know, you put some air under the ball, that's when the interceptions happen. Second and 10, rolls outside the pocket to Green. He's got time to throw, great pass. And it's completed to Thulin. This duo between Thulin and Green is creating headaches for the Ironman defense. And some uh, agitation on the field as well. Now I like what Donners Grove North did. Okay, the ball has been tipped twice at the line of scrimmage, so they rolled him out and threw the ball downfield. So that was a nice play call considering the ball is getting hit at, batted down in the air. So first down, clock running again, 33 yard line, up two scores. Again, everything going well for Donners Grove North and I really like that play call on the rollout. Now if they roll out this time, it's a harder rollout to the left. So this would be one where I like to run to the left. They've got the receivers on the right though. We'll see if somebody goes in motion. One in the backfield. Yeah, a lot of room to the left, there we go. They like to roll Brazina as well as Farrington the third. Not a good pass. and. Incomplete that time off the arm from Green. That was a good throw to make because if he had thrown it to where the receiver was, there was a defender right in the way. So that was a throwaway pass, smart move, second and 10. If your primary receiver that you're picking on is covered and you're not going to go to a secondary receiver, a hot receiver, you just have to throw that one away. If you have more time, you can go through your reads. Maybe somebody else would have been open, but. Not that time, not that receiver. One in the backfield. Noah Battle as they've done most of the day. Two wide receivers set and here they go. They switch again between Farrington and Brazina. Hand off to Battle off the right side. Room to run, Battle bouncing off, trucking his way through the defense. I like what they did on offense. They bunched the receivers to the right next to the, the line and then used them for blocking and ran right behind it. And really there was no answer from Normal on that play. What, 10 yard gainish? So first down, chains move again and Normal is not showing they can stop down his Grove North. It's all Trojans right now. Besides that pick from Green, he's been pretty darn good today. Well, and that was deflected. I mean, you almost can't blame him too much, at least. Almost fumbled. It wasn't a great handoff to battle, but he still gets four yards after all that. Well, both teams are giving it everything they got. After all, it's a quarterfinal state championship game, 7A. This is not <laughs> you know, football for the meek. Down to the 19 yard line. It's second and seven. Now you got to know your boot of your kicker. He's looked really good. They have two kickers on Downers Grove in terms of Jarnicki and Colin Saz. Well, it's second and seven, so I don't think we're thinking kick yet. Right, when it becomes third and six or third and five, you're starting to think kick. 
Rolls to the right, takes his time to screen. Here comes the pressure now when he's forced outside the pocket. And a QB sneak as... So he picked up a yard or two maybe. Yep, pressuring in was Jackson Eimer. Third and manageable coming up for the Trojans. Yeah, you, you said the key word there, third and manageable. The question here is it's third and short enough where I think they can still run if they want. So play action is still live if they want to go that route. Play action and pass somewhere short, just get the first down. I don't think I'd go for the end zone yet. Maintain possession, yeah. keep the time running, score eventually. Third and five, if you get three or more yards, they'll probably go for it. Two or less, they'll probably try the field goal. Right in the pocket is Green. Right on target, Thulin again. We'll see where they spot it, but I think he got it. Yeah, he was open for several seconds. I, to me, that throw came out late. I was like, uh-oh, you're throwing it too late, but no, he was still open. Couple of yards ahead of the chains. It's kind of like went downfield, got past the first down marker by a couple yards, looked back at the quarterback, ate a steak dinner, and eventually the quarterback threw it to him. And first and goal coming up. Timeout, DGN. We'll take a timeout as well. You're watching the Trojans against the Iron Man here on SBS. That it's got to be on their end. That's why I just wish we could do our own. It's always fine when we go live on YouTube. Number one is what? Did yeah, you catch that? This, yeah, it's not, this was from your website. Yeah, no, thanks for the help. It, yeah, Okay. did you catch that? I did, yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, there's nothing I can do though. Not it's now, but you can change going forward. Yeah, thank you. Off the timeout. We do apologize, we got the wrong roster. It's actually Lanso at quarterback today. Handoff off the right, past the 10 yard line, near the five. As Battle finding his way closer and closer to the end zone. Yeah, I think the reason for the timeout, I couldn't get his number, but it looked like 70 something was coming off with help from the trainer. And I think that's why they called the timeout. There he is on the sideline with the trainer. They're getting the, uh, getting attended to it. So I think that's why Downers Grove for no reason called timeout. Right now we got a little hobbly foot there out there as well. Like we said, this isn't football for the meek. They'll have to run a play call for somebody else. <laughs> so Second and five at the five. <laughs> okay, yeah. Second and goal at the five. And the Iron Men, they were ready, but Downers Grove North was it. Another timeout called by the Trojans. We'll take another timeout. You're watching the Trojans against the Iron Men here on SBS. No, nope, mute. Remember, mute first, then break. How's it going, guys? All right, start to get the calculator um, app going and let me know the rushing yards for 20 of Downers Grove North. How do I figure out rushing yards? Like, can I calculate myself? No, she's going to do it. She's, it's on. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't like going outside. There's not, it's, it's got to be on there and we have perfect Wi-Fi. There's, yeah, there's nothing I can do. Maybe you can stop and restart the stream at no, least. I've already done it three times. We got to go, we got to go, we got to go, 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 go. Hand off to battle. Touchdown, Trojans! Yeah. That's huge, five yards in on that one run, three scores, five minutes to go. Even if Normal gets the ball back, they're gonna have to score at least once before halftime or at least feel good about themselves. 21 nothing halftime score is not gonna help. In five minutes, not entirely a whole uh, lot of time to get downfield. Oh, 
PAT's good. That's going to make it 21 nothing here on SBS, the broadcasting network for everyone. All right, Kylie, got to be quicker, bud. Got to be paying attention. All right, now the Wi-Fi went out. Correct. I think we shouldn't do it, but they don't care. So far, I would. Yeah. We should just run their commercials. Why not? Back to the action at it. SBS, the broadcasting network for everyone. Kyle Smith alongside Bob Vilsaway. It's 21-0 Trojans. By the way, we're pre-recording in both 720 and 1080p, so if the stream goes out with the Wi-Fi, don't worry about it. We are pre-recording as well. Returned at the one-yard line. And he will not get to the 20. A great tackle to push him down maybe at the 19-yard line. I think normally would expect a better return than that. Finally fielding the ball inside the end zone with a chance to return it. So 5.06 to go the length of the field. Down three scores. It's not going well for normal. And that's going to be a shame. <laughs> oh, no. If they don't win this game, they're going to have to watch the game happening. What is it, Horton Fieldhouse down there at Illinois State? So they're going to be able to watch the game firsthand as opposed to playing it unless they make the right adjustments with five minutes to go in the second quarter. Down the field, double coverage, and it's deflected away that time by Downers Grove North, yeah, Owen Thulin. That, that receiver was uh, triple covered. I think it would have been wise for the quarterback to take a look at the other choices to pass to on that one. 23 Hand off to the right. And he's actually going to lose yardage. Great job on the penetration by the Downers Grove Trojans. Yeah, very spirited defense here now. Up three scores. They're making it real tough on normal. It's third and third and long. So it's third and long here. So unless they can get a first down here, another punting situation, giving up the ball before the second half. Down three scores. This, this hole is just getting deeper and deeper for normal. Shotgun for Beatty. And it's completed to the 23 and then throw down to the turf. Great job on the tackle by Jake Wander. I like the defense by Downers Grove North though. They let him have that seven yard gain. Well, it turned out to be just a five yard gain. The long pass across the field to make that completion, but they still have to punt. I think a better pass would have been over the middle 10 or 12 yards deep. Instead, they took the five yard gain on, on third and 10. Kind of reminds me of the, the check downs we talk about all the time with Cousins. Line drive kick, and it's going to go all the way past the 40 yard line as trying to wafting the ball was Alex Binion. And that'll be placed at the 37. Yeah, three minutes, what, 18 seconds to go. Still up three scores. Downers Grove, I don't want to say there's plenty of time to go downfield, but with their passing attack, it's been very effective. They can score in that three minutes to go in the four score lead in the first half. I mean, if the dagger isn't already in normal, they're looking to stick a, a second one in here. 
So Downers Grove North playing a near perfect game here on their home field. Now the band is probably assimilating somewhere to go in for a halftime. That's an excellent band they have here. There they are on the, behind the goalpost to the left. DGN trying to make it a four score lead. A little handoff to Battle and he gets close to the first down marker. Boy, just continued to move the pile after, you know, for, again, in, initial contact, Battle gets a lot of yards. This is a good uh, play action down. One in motion for the Trojans, rolling outside the pocket. Complete, over to Thulin. Thulin still on his feet. Thulin past the 40. Here's an ankle saving tackle. So the clock is really not as bad of a factor as you'd think. Two minutes, 30 seconds ago, they got the ball at the 40. Especially if they keep the ball in the air, they've got time. The clocks do stop after a first down. Looking for a quick five yards there. In the pocket. Looks downfield, almost knocked away. Did he finish the catch to Thulin? He well, did not. Yeah, he caught it, but his feet were out of bounds and almost intercepted. That's one of those bang, bang plays. If that has a little bit of air under the ball, it's intercepted, but it was thrown on a frozen rope. It was a good catch. It's unfortunately out of bounds. But he threw it in a spot where at least only his receiver could get it, and that's what you're supposed to do. Got to give him credit. It wasn't complete, but a great pass still. One in the backfield, three wide receivers. They ran Farrington in motion, steps up into the pocket, does Lansu wide to open. the end zone, wide open, touchdown pass! That might be the dagger, partner. It's completed to Charlie Cruz. How about that, 27 nothing in favor of the Trojans. It was a perfectly run play. He was under pressure in the pocket, rolled out to the right where there was no pressure, he had more time. The double move on the right side went deep. Nobody went with him, an easy pitch and catch into the end zone. Like you said, four scores. How do you come back from down 20, well, soon to be 28 points here in, in just one more half of football? Yeah, you know, poor normal, but Downers Grove North is playing just a magical game here. PAT's up and it is good. 28 0. We'll take a break. You're watching the Trojans against the Ironmen here on SBS. All right. Go down there, see if you can get a password for one of their private Wi Fi's. From what? Just, just lower From down that woman. Or? What? Just lower down or? Yeah. The tr yeah right just there. ask that woman if they have a private Wi Fi and ask for their ID and password. The we network go, name is the ID, I, and do we need yeah, a password? I, that's, uh, yeah, that's the very low on my priority list right now. Okay. Is that us or is that them? I guess it's us. I don't know. We don't know. It says one bar now. I don't know why. That that's us. We got to go. Just, just jump cut it, bud. We can't miss it. I don't have a whole lot either. 28 nothing in favor of the Trojans. Apologize for the Wi-Fi difficulties. We're trying to get a different one as we speak. It is 28 nothing Downers Grove North. And don't worry about it, because we're pre-recording the whole game in both 720 and 1080p. Kickoff at the one yard line. Ironmen have it, and it's to the 19 yard line. Yeah, again tackled before they got out to the 20. Special teams for Downers Grove North just having a field day today. Like we said, it's almost a perfect game that Downers Grove North is playing. 
Normal is an excellent team, but Downers Grove North has just absolutely taken it to them in every aspect of the game. They're stuffing the runs, the passes aren't going well, right? And the special teams are just killing it. I mean, it's not over yet, but they're one game away from a state championship. I guess we should say it this way, one and a half games away from a state championship. Just text it to me. Yeah. Good job. So huddle is happening late here. See, see what play they're going to run after that. Handoff to Davis and great tackle that time. There's a late flag. It has to be holding because the flag came out before a fast face mask opportunity. So it's probably going to go back 10 yards here. Block in the back. Boy, nothing like a block in the back and he still got tackled for, for loss. Just like the professional refs with the microphones to the crowd. So it's first in about 20, maybe first in 19. Text lines open your favorite high school. College and NFL memory, text 330-957-7653. Handoff off the middle partner. They got to just pass the ball. They're down four scores. Well, they are down four scores, but maybe you hit on something on the accuracy. They're concerned he throws another pick down here at this end, or it's incomplete a few right. times. They got to well, pass it. You got to find a way to, to, to score four times. You throw a pick six, that doesn't help you, but running the football and being down 28 nothing into halftime doesn't help you either. Yeah, you're also, what, second and 17 now after that two-yard gain on that run. And remember, DGN gets the ball back in the second half. And, and Normal hasn't shown they can stop them. I mean, it's, it's looking bleak. But if you're going to score here, you got 48 seconds to do it, and I don't think Normal is going to take it downfield that way. So I wouldn't be surprised to see another run. Nope, here they're passing. <laughs> Threw that out of bounds, incomplete. 36 seconds ago, third down. One in the backfield, third and 17. Yeah, they'll have to air it out like they did last time. No, quarterback And Beatty's draw. just gonna run with it. Oh, he's drilled! Beatty is absolutely drilled. The Ironman won a head, helmet to helmet hit, but it looks like he led with the shoulder. Oh, it was a perfectly done tackle. That's how you tackle people. Textbook, hard tackle, but right. shoulder first. Nice, nice right. job. Doesn't matter if the helmet eventually hits Beatty. If you lead with the shoulder and you don't lead with the shoulder into the helmet, it's a clean tackle. Oh, it was a very, very clean tackle, but a very, very hard tackle. And fourth down with uh, 29 seconds to go. So we're gonna have to punt this. Downers Grove North will have enough time to get the ball back and maybe a pass or two. Maybe they'll uh, throw something. I would just take a zone. Well, we'll see where they get the ball. That's true. If it's yeah. a bad punt or a block punt, anything can happen when it comes to high school punting. But yeah, there's not a lot of time left. But man, if Downers Grove North can get one more score before the the quarter, I mean the half, boy, they would yeah. sure take it. Is there a big difference between a four score and a five score lead? Kind <laughs> of. There is a difference though if your quarterback throws a pick six and gives normal any kind of life going into the third quarter. Well, you know, there, like you said, there's not a whole lot of difference between four scores versus five scores. And of course, Downers Grove North would have to be careful not to throw their own pick six going the other way. So, you know, now you're talking about three scores versus five. It, anyway, they're punting here, right, you see can't, where they get yeah. it. You can't play scared, but you have to be a little conservative as well. 
Good snap. Well, and it's still a winner go home, and that's almost blocked. Line drive kick, and Thulin will let that one go. See, now to our point, I think that's far enough downfield that with 18 seconds to go, it's just not worth trying to run a play. Just go ahead and just knee it. You could run it to battle, see if he gets to the edge, and see if he can get out of bounds past the 50. Yeah, you could do that. I, I think just take the knee and take the four score lead. There's also something to be said yeah. for when you take, like, I'll call it the victory formation before halftime. It, it kind of sends a message to the other team that we got this. So let's see what they do. We're comfortable in our own skin, and <laughs> we feel comfortable that you're not going to get four scores in the second half. It's going to be hard to get. So far, Downers Grove North is, like you said, yeah. just outplaying them in every aspect of the game. If there's an aspect, Downers Grove North is winning it. So we thought 18 or 11, 18 seconds. It's set 11.4, and like we said, they're taking the knee. So Downers Grove North will take a knee, and the Ironmen will decide to let the clock run out. That does it for the first half. We're going to try to fix this Wi-Fi going into the second half. It's all Trojans today, 28 nil here on SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. With alongside Bob Vilsoe. It's all Trojans today, and like I said, we are pre-recording as well, so if the Wi-Fi goes out at any time in this broadcast, we'll upload to YouTube. You can watch as many times as you'd like. Not the day that the Ironman envision, partner, down by four scores, and they haven't done much offensively. Just 73 passing yards for Beatty, and only 45 total rushing yards for the Ironmen in that first half, mostly from Tommy Davis. Yeah, it's four score and 28 points. That's a long way to come back. <laughs> now they have proven that they get 31 points unanswered, so they're gonna have to pull off a comeback uh, of epic proportion, proportions to make that happen. But the way things are going for Downers Grove North, they are just taking it to them in every aspect of the game, especially shutting down runs both up the middle and wide. So it's gonna be up to the quarterback to beat them, right? Now, the good thing from normal side of the field they're still in the sun and Downers Grove North is on the chilly side so maybe they'll stay warm that way but uh, I don't know this is not looking good for normal meanwhile partner for the DGN Trojans this is exactly what they envisioned up four scores they get the ball back that's why they took a knee in that first half and uh, yeah I, they score one more time this game's probably over well, and uh, on top of that, I feel like Downers Grove North, never mind the scores, are just flat out on a mission. Oh, get off the field there. But they are absolutely on a mission. Kick off and it's returned near the 15 yard line. Trojans right up the middle. Stutter step move, trying to break through the D. He's gone. Touchdown, Downers Grove North. Trojans, Noah Battle takes it to the house. Right up the middle. It is there, it's amazing how there wasn't coverage up the middle. If he had gone wide either way, he would have been tackled. But up the middle, is a quick hitter. The blocks opened it up. And of course, his speed outran the defense. What a great first play for the second half. And Frank Reich's son does not play quarterback for the Ironmen. Frank Reich, of course, that Bills team that came back down 35-3 to in the playoffs against the Houston Oilers. It's a, big, uh, it's a big responsibility now for Kyle Beatty to lead this team back. Well, th th they did get one thing. They got the ball back sooner in the second <laughs> half than they were going to originally. A lot sooner than they thought. 35 nothing. probably when this kick goes uh, through the uprights into the next county. Well, partner, now you're up five scores. You might have to go for two in the championship game. Do you consider running a two-point conversion here to get some confidence going into the championship game? Yeah, you know, I, I like where you're headed. You know, okay, you want to exercise your plays. But I think what you do is you keep your two-point plays to yourself and you, you kick it here and then use the two-point play next week if you actually need it. Right, but you don't want to get some reps going to get some momentum going into the championship game? No, and you're going to have multiple two-point plays in your in right. your uh, coffers anyway. I, I don't think I would use one here. Well, I Just bring it up because they're still huddling, so they might be thinking about that two-point conversion. Well, if their kicker gets hurt or something like that. But their, their kicking game has been absolutely surprising. Superb. What a run by battle. He hasn't even been their best player today. I mean, the the wide receiver play by Thulin, the quarterback play by Owen Lanso has been fabulous as well. The, the, like we said, the whole team is on an absolute mission. And poor normal. I mean, you know, <laughs> down four scores already. I'm not sure what they possibly could have been reviewing. But um, the touchdown's good. That's what they were waiting on. Here comes right. the extra Was, point. Was there a late block in the back that the officials were going Maybe over? Maybe we were talking about it, looking at it, I don't know. 
Extra point coming up. It's an easy kicking day today for Antonios Kalinsas. Five extra points. Yeah, I think you're going to see Normal try to throw the ball downfield since the running isn't working and hope for the best. Good snap. The hold is there. The kick straight through. 35 nothing. We'll take a break. Trojans just dominating right now against the Ironmen here on SBS. All right, who was uh, who was Downers Grove's best receiver in that first half? Was it number ten? If it gets to twenty for receiving, oh, for like, oh. who was their best receiver? Ten, right? Yeah. How many re receptions for, and yards did he have? So we had. So, for how many yards? Figure it out, we got we gotta go. Just jump cut it, it's fine. No, nope, you went to another one. Thirty five nothing. Downers Grove North. They're giving their home fans a show in the middle of Downers Grove. Yes, they are, and one thing you don't want to see is a running clock either. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think about that. One more touchdown. I, I the running clock the rest of the game. Yeah, I'd like to see running clocks go away in, 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 in football. You know what, partner? Do you really want 75, 85 to nothing, though, in a playoff game? I think coaches can make decisions that cause that not to happen. How about that, yep. partner? Everything's going right for Downers Grove today. It looks like that ball's going to go out of bounds and then flip. Flip, flip, right into the end zone for a touchback. Sure happened again, right? Just like you said, everything's going right. They're on a mission, and then they get some luck on top of that. So 35 nothing. what can you do? Okay, it, it made some kind of halftime adjustments, and you said it earlier, whether you're down four scores or five scores, it's not that different, really. So we'll see if any of the adjustments that they made will work. Right. Are they going to go to the air more often? I don't know how they're going to change the running game. So we'll see what they do. No matter what, they're going to have to do the onside kick. First things first, you got to score a touchdown. you got to score it really quickly. Well, and move the first down markers. <laughs> Try that first, right? Downers Grove has been stifling on defense. Takes the handoff, and here comes the sack. It is all Trojans right, th right now. Special teams, <laughs> offense and defense. Yeah, the defensive line there just stifled that play. It looked to me like it was a little bit of that run pass option, or you know, run, not exactly a pass option, but a run option for the quarterback. Hand off up the middle or take it himself. He decided to take it himself, but that, that small pocket collapsed instantly on him. And you know what, partner, I want to ask you this question. It's taken a lot of effort from the Ironmen to get to this place, that overtime game against Bradley Bourbonnet. Have to come back from 28-14 at half. As rolling outside the pocket is Beatty. Sloppy pass and misses intended target that time and Ivo Rion Austin. And the question I want to ask you is, how emotionally draining is that? Always having to come back in these playoff games. Did they just run out of effort and energy today against this really tough Downers Grove North team? Yeah, that wouldn't be my choice of thinking. My, my choice is just Downers Grove North is a very, very good football team, and they are just taking it to them in every aspect of the game, and Normal is a little bit underwhelmed compared to this. I yeah. think strength of schedule has a lot to do with it. Nor Normal played an easier schedule all year, winning by a lot of points, didn't run into teams with a lot of resistance. Downers Grove North for uh, every game right. is tough for them. There's a lot more size up north versus, you know, south and central Illinois. Almost picked! Bad pass, and Noah Battle almost took it the distance for a pick six. Well, you're going back to that accuracy thing, and they're, they're obviously not another inaccurate pass. Now they got a punt, down five scores, and they're punting. So I think when Downers Grove North gets the ball back, they're going to have to consider keeping the uh, – they don't have to consider anything. But, yeah, I think they're going to want to keep the ball on the ground, keep the clock running, and just mercifully end this game. And 35 nothing in a semifinal game is just a, I mean, a major lopsided score. Well, it's a normal team that's been very impressive most of this postseason. They found ways to win. I just think it's been so emotionally draining for them, these games. Sometimes you just run out of steam, and there's a fake punt, finally punts it. And this time it's going to be returned, and little uh, spinorama and try to move the other way that time by Owen Thulin. And yeah. Bob, when you're up 35 points, you can return kicks like that. Well, I think he's got a little bit tired of watching the ball, you know, roll past him. And it took a hop right into his right. hands. And if you can't catch that, you can't catch that. Right. And if he turned it the other way and got around the edge, there was a lot of green to go. 
And but when you're up 35 points, if he fumbles, you don't want to fumble there, but it doesn't hurt you that much. That's true. You can, you know, be a little bit riskier when you're up 35 nothing. but I, I think if I'm the coach, I, I play it the same way the whole time. You know, it, it, it's rolling. Don't take it. But it bounced right up into his hands. And not surprising, Noah Battle's going to sit this one out, at least for now. Well, you got to, I mean, what a terrific running back. You, you, you know, you risk injury every time a player goes out on the field, so they want a healthy battle next week. Jake. Gregorio in the backfield now. He is a junior, Gregorio. And this guy's pretty good too. That's eight yards for the Trojans. Well, they're opening up good holes for him, but yes, he walked through it pretty good. And you know, this is a great experience for him for next year also. We might see a quarterback change as Oliver Thulin. He, he was inching towards the uh, towards the huddle, but he'll stay at wide receiver. Here, here again, the, the receivers don't go into the huddle. I'm intrigued by that. So they know what play they're running by not getting into the huddle. I, I usually assume that that then means it's going to be a run, but they somehow know what pass pattern to yeah, run. It, it's definitely caught the Ironman off guard a little bit on defense. Here's the case. The receiver's not even looking at the, there we go. They, they try to confuse the defense. That time they confuse themselves. <laughs> Ball start called against the Trojans. Uh, that's a shame, too. It was second and relatively short. Now it's second and long. They just wanted to gain those yards over again to prove they could do it. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever you do, do not fumble the football. Right. Just take the sack. The sack's a lot better than fumbling the football. Well, and they've got a good punting team, so if you have to give the ball up that way, it's going to be upfield a ways. Gregorio, good patience, runs off the right guard, and he almost got the first down that time. You said that well, good patience. He cut right, then waited for the block to materialize, then went back behind it around the other way. A lot of running backs get very impatient. They want to get the yards instantly, but they very patient behind the blocking and good blocking and got him a couple extra yards. Right. Third and one. Let's see if he can get through the line here for a yard and keep the chains moving and the clock running. And you brought, it, brought up a good point, Bob. You set a play for your offensive line, but the defensive line's good too. So just because you set the play doesn't mean that hole's going to open up right away. Here they go again, number seven and 43. They've done that all day long, and they're going to do it again. Handoff, Gregorio, he got it. That almost looked like he was just going along the line until he found where he could cut back and then cut up the field. And I think that was actually planned run, right? So he wasn't looking for a different hole to go in. But he got the chains moving. It was a good run, and they have a good backup back here. Well, you're up 35 nothing. The Ironmen haven't done anything offensively. Noah Battle's day might be done. Oh, man. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what they do. I would leave him in. <laughs> all right. Well, they, he hasn't played at all on this drive. Another nice first down by Gregorio. Well, you want to save the injury possibility. It's a tough DGN team. Handoff. And that time, instant penetration delivered by the Ironmen. So the difference there, um, the yards after contact was zero. He got wrapped up right away and just fell forward, maybe another half yard when he fell forward, and that was about it. The Those yards after contact are so important. The tackle delivered by Antonio Montoya and Isaiah Grief. And there's been a lot of grief from the Ironmen fans uh -oh. today. Uh-oh. It's about that time, partner. It's 35 nothing. No, 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 we can't do that. Why is an uh, why no, is no no don't la 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 Why is a normal <laughs> football player's favorite do actor Robert Downing Jr. Shotgun formation, clean pocket, wide open, right in stride, trying to stiff arm his way for more yardage. That time in the wide receiver for Downers Grove, Joseph Edwards, first and ten. It's too early in the game still to just do nothing but runs and then you know, run left, run right, run middle punt, right, to give the ball back to normal. That pass was wide open to the left after they had run a bunch of times in a row. But what a great throw, pitch and catch, got the first down. Sure, the clock stops on the first down, but then it starts up right away after that. First and 10. It's all Trojans today. They have a pick six. A wide open man right down the field. I could have thrown that ball. That's how wide open the <laughs> wide receiver was. Everything's working for Downers Grove North. Handoff, Gregorio. 
And this is why it's such a dominating score right now, Bob. Everything is easy for Downers Grove North. Very rarely are they getting one yard or a tackle for loss or no gain. For the Ironmen, when they get more than three yards, you're surprised by it. Well, I, I mean, we could never do this, but if they were to play 10 times, does Sounders Grove North win all 10 times against them? No, but this is single elimination. If that doesn't matter, they're just the better team today. Well, that's what I'm wondering. They're, they're, they may indeed be a better team. They, they just are doing everything at every aspect of the game. Like I said earlier, if there's an aspect they're out, out doing normal, it's a shame. Normal had a fantastic year this year, undefeated 12-0, 8-0 in conference. They did get this far to the final four in the in the playoffs. Yeah, they had a fa fantastic run. They were down and out a couple of times. They found ways to win. Rose Wide outside open. the pocket, Lansu pump fake to the end zone. Touchdown, Downers Grove North. It's complete to Owen Thulin. The Thulin brothers are enemy number one in normal. Normal sure didn't want that to happen. The running clock is, is might be uh, employed here in the final, uh, what, 18 minutes? Well, oh, there's a flag. Is making, maybe this is coming back. It looks like it's going to be a, a holding call. We haven't seen the signal yet. An eligible oh. receiver downfield. Who would have guessed? Well, what happened is the quarterback ran around yeah. back there and, and he had a lot of extra time. Maybe one of the linemen thought there'd be a screen pass or worse right. that the quarterback was just going to flat out run, and so that's why he went downfield. I wonder how, you know, we have to play it back, and this is why you do get to play it back. Um, play it back and see just how, how far downfield that lineman was. Maybe you can determine why he was downfield. Chris Angela, a fantastic photographer, or videographer here, hopefully has that on film so we can see exactly who was downfield. Tough call, tough call. Oh, hey, you're welcome, Chris. He, he paid me $20 to say that. <laughs> it's all about positive reinforcement, twice. So why is a normal football player's favorite oh, no. <laughs> actor, Robert Downing Jr.? This rolls outside the pocket is Lansu. Right on target, another hesitation move by Thulin. Pass the chains, first and 10 for the Trojans. Okay, so, oh, another flag. It's gonna be uh, unsportsmanlike conduct way after the play. Probably not releasing the tackle long, uh, after a bunch of frustration. I mean, you're down 35 to nothing. Of course, then it's not yet a running clock, but maybe they held on to the tackle too long after the whistle blew. I didn't, I, I couldn't tell why the unsportsmanlike conduct, conduct. But okay, we'll say, why? Robert Downey Jr.? I think we're checking the chat line here. So halfway to the goal line, so it's going to be 11 well, yard line. They like Robert Downing Jr. as their favorite actor because he's a fellow Iron Man. Oh no. <laughs> no wonder they're turning the Wi Fi off on us. <laughs> <laughs> You're All right, you're first and 10 at the 10 point something yard line. So <laughs> technically you can get a first down, but there's right. very little room in between that you first down mark and the end zone. Running. You don't even care if you score. I, 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 I don't really want the running clock. I know you don't, but I'm sure the coaches do. Battle back into the game, by the way, and he'll run that play. Well, if you're down to Grove, talk about a dagger. That's more like a sword. You get that clock running, and you're ahead 40 points. I mean, it's, it's virtually impossible to come back from that. And normal, frankly, they're too good of a team to have a running clock go against them. Honestly, I mean, I, if I'm down to Grove North, I want to score, but I want to at least attempt one field goal today, so I have some reps going into the championship game. Well, there's there's that thought, right? And put some pressure on the kicker and and see what he does. I mean, so far right. from what we've seen, the but, kicking game is terrific. Right, and it's a non-pressure situation anyway. So even if he misses it, you can't really chalk that one up as a sample size because it's a not important kick. Another right. roll right. Lanso with it to the end zone, double coverage Intercepted. and dropped. Oh, did he drop it? Yeah. Bad decision that time by Lanso. Eimer dropped it. Just throw that one away, partner, and live another down. Well, he's proven that he's done that before. I mean, there's been several times when the receiver's been covered and he just chucks it out of bounds and then we say, oh, it's a bad pass. Well, he was throwing it out of bounds on purpose here. That one he was throwing for a completion in the corner of the end zone and uh, you know, Normal almost stepped up in front and got that. I think they had it and unfortunately didn't complete the process of the catch, dropped it out of bounds. 
I mean, that play is bigger than it looks because if he doesn't catch it and Downers Grove North still scores, there's running clock happens. If he did catch it, they have the ball and the clock does continue to stop. So Owen Lansu threw four touchdowns last week against Lincoln Way West as they routed him. And they're about to route normal as well. Yeah, in the semifinals. A little jet sweep and normal read that all the way. Joseph Edwards goes nowhere, and we'll most likely see the field goal team for the Trojans. Well, let's see if they do do that. Fourth down, bring in the kicker. I would kick. I'd love to get some reps going into the championship game. Yeah, I'd be kicking in this position as well. Who cares if they block it and take it for a touchdown? You're up five scores right now. Well, plus you get to keep the clock from running. Get three more points, the clock doesn't keep running get to play more football, but you are concerned about playing your starters and getting injured for the rest of the game, too. They're going to go so, for it. I'm, yeah, I'm they're surprised. going for it. So this ball, for the most part, really does have to get into the end zone. You could drop it off in the flat and see if he gets yards after catch. Three wide receivers set, one in the backfield. Here comes the blitz from the Ironmen. Rolling outside the pocket to the end zone. It's caught. At least initially. Touchdown! Downers Grove North. Owen Thulin does it again. No flags. No flags. This time it's for real. He bought a ton of time by rolling out to the right. The receiver went down the middle, under the post, turned all the way to the edge, just outran the defender. The ball was thrown absolutely early enough for him to outrun to get to the ball. Great play. Wow. Here comes the running clock, Bob. Oh, it's my least favorite thing in football, running clocks. What's your second least favorite thing? Yeah, good point. I haven't really thought about that much. A pick six when you're hoping for the team with the quarterback. <laughs> good snap, good hold. The kick straight through. We'll take a break. It's Trojans 42, Ironman nothing here on SBS. All right, what do we got receiving for the Trojans? This half? Oh, for oh, for for number for number uh, twenty. You, for, oh, I'm sorry. For number ten, you had 139 receiving yards. Thank That's you. That's on FHS there. It's 30 seconds behind. Yeah, we're we're really behind. It's it's their server, man. Oh crap! You're not supposed to run that. Oh well. Shit! I should have told you not to run that. All right, bring it back. 42, nothing. Who saw this one coming up? The Trojans fans might have because they routed Lincoln Way West last week. But meanwhile, the Trojans, they have a date with Destiny downstate and normal. They'll go back downstate, but no championship game for them. Well, and how do you say, I mean, Downers Grove North looks like a favorite to win next week when you win, you know, like this kind of a score this week. They're hitting on all cylinders. Obviously, they want to win, but it helps being a home game. Will this one go to the end zone? Wow, that one goes it, to the end zone as well. Everything going right for the Trojans. It took the same uh, inside hop, though. You know, it looks like it's going out of bounds, and it, you know, takes a, a right turn at the, at the last instant there. It's a nice, nice kick. So the Trojans scored twice on that possession. First time was called back because yeah. of the the uh, illegal man downfield, and then the second time, what what some beautiful throws by Owen Lanso today. And uh, give credit to these wide receivers, the Thulin brothers, getting great separation, helping out their quarterback. Yeah, it's what we've said. Everything's going right. Running clock going forward. Which is going to be a long running clock. Four minutes to go here, and then another 12-minute quarter is still ahead of us. Ironmen can stop the running clock if they get it under 40-point deficit. Yeah, they have to score on this drive, and quickly. That was almost picked off. There's that accuracy issue. Partner, it looks like it's not going to go normal's way. Do you consider putting in the younger quarterback, see what he can do going into 2024? Well, you absolutely have to consider it. And the same thing with some of the other positions as well, to give them some you know, big game quarter you know semi-final experience I mean I think you have to to do that to see not only to see what you got but kind of reward the players a little bit who've been sitting on the bench doing the rooting and then the, who are going to be your starters next year but even if they get in they're not going to get a whole lot of, of field time either 
Beatty ro rolls outside the pocket. Sloppy throw, that one's picked off. You know, I think his arm got hit while he released the ball, and that's why it didn't go downfield. But uh, he was on his butt the play before. Here, Downers Grove was in his grill this time. I mean, uh, Downers Grove defense is just stopping everything. The runs, tipping the ball. In this case, his arm got the interception. Now they can run this in pretty comfortably from what, the 25-yard line? So it could be 49 to nothing, even with a running clock. Remember, yeah, the clock keeps going even though the people are still huddling up. Right. It's ticking, ticking, 245. Makes it a lot easier for Kyle Anderson, <laughs> our uh, um, technical director, to keep keep in line with the, the clock out in the field. You don't have to stop it at the same times anymore. So here comes Damian Green, the senior. Jake Wander, the running back. Handoff as losing a yard. Does Downers Grove North, now it's going from bad to worse. Injury on the turf. Two players down, the one who's really down is number two for the Ironman, that's Jackson Eimer. Not just on the ground, but on the ground squirming around. I mean, whatever it is, it's very painful. And now the other guy who was, he tried to get back up and now he's injured as well. Well, Two players hurt on the same play. Yeah, this play goes into what you were saying earlier. Get your starters out and put you know um, some others in there to get some experience. You don't need uh, you know starters getting injured. Although Normal's not going to live to play another day after this game. But same thing from Downer Grove's, Downers Grove North's perspective. Perhaps it's time for them to put some subs in so that they're ready for next week. A little bit of game experience won't hurt, but you don't want an injury from a starter either. So we'll stick with the action. Up oh. six touchdowns right now are the Trojans. Yeah. Now the clock does stop on the injury, so it's not a running clock during the injury. And if you're wondering, partner, Olin Thulin, number 10 for Downers Grove North, 139 receiving yards in that first half. Pretty darn well, dominant. Well, yeah, he had that, especially that long bomb up the middle. He was the one that was wide open, but yeah, yeah, that's a lot of yards. Hesitation move and... Now the last two plays for normal though, they stuffed him running left, they stuffed him on this jet sweep going right. So I like that Normals is not quitting here. I mean, when you're down 42 to nothing, it, the tendency is to, well, let this game go and, you know, play another day. Although this play another day will be next year. And now the wide receiver going into the huddle for a brief second. That was Vince Devero. Honestly, at this point, Bob, you could just take a knee the rest of the game if you really wanted to. Well, I've, I've seen that before in some high school games, and then the other team gets the ball for three or four downs. They don't make a first, and these guys take the ball for four knees, and that's how you, you ease the end. Clean pocket, double coverage, and somehow got that out of the hands of Kaylin Taylor, so the double coverage came from the Iron Men, but good job of green to just throw that one away so it couldn't get picked off. Well, and that's the thing, too. I mean, there's a lot of me that says they should just run, run, run. We were talking about them taking the knee, you know, but then they passed the ball. Uh, at the same time, it's way too much time just to say I'm going to run only. Plus, yeah, there's a part of me also that you want to exercise your offense. I mean, you don't want right. to just well, go into stagnation mode. You don't know if Lanso is going to be fully healthy next week. He could go down with injury. Maybe Damian Green has to win them the championship game. These reps are valuable. And using their whole offense would be useful. Right. You want to have, you want to give him reps with a first team offense in a game environment. Here we go. Is handoff. In decision time for DGN. They have the entire third quarter intermission to think about it. Will they go for it? Will they punt or will they kick the field goal? We'll find out in a couple of minutes. You're watching the Trojans against the Iron Man here on Sports Broadcast Solutions. Are you still on my phone network? Yeah. Yeah, 51%. We're good. So you can use it for the rest of the game.
Yeah, let's go. Back to the action, Kyle Smith alongside Bob Bilsue. Hope you've enjoyed the game. We'll upload the full version of the broadcast as well as the highlights on YouTube and other social media platforms. Well, there's lots of highlights from one side of the ball. Appreciate all the normal fans watching. Yeah, six touchdowns for Downers Grove alone. <laughs> it's going to be a pretty good highlight film. Handoff, and it's going to be wiped out by this Downers Grove North defense. Leading the way was Jaden Lewis. That's the thing. Downers Grove North is not only playing well with the lead, too. You can tell that they're smelling the victory. It's like normal. You're not going anywhere. I feel like it's too early to leave a game, but if you look off to the right, you can see an awful lot of fans leaving early. They put a new quarterback, by the way, that's the Ironmen, as not getting any yardage on the play was Lucas Drangwitz, the son yeah. of the head coach. Yeah, there was a block in the back along the way on that, and then the guy that got blocked, they didn't see the number. Right. I would got just explain it. Downers Grove well, just wants to get out of here. The referees didn't throw a flag on that, and I was a little surprised. Uh, but he got right. up very, very slow. Of course, every time you, you throw a flag and you call a penalty, that clock keeps on ticking. So maybe yeah. there was some uh, discretion by the referee to not call it. What a game by Lanso, Owen Thulin, and Oliver Thulin. Rolls outside the pocket, does the QB. And Drangwitz has nowhere to go with it. He fumbled it, but he fumbled it out of bounds. That was exactly right. There was nowhere to go with it. The, the receivers were all covered downfield. I mean, there, there was just nothing you could do with that. You would think one of the receivers would see he's in trouble and break back toward the quarterback or break downfield for a long something, but nothing open. So fourth and 16, they're going to have to punt, one would think. Let's see what they actually do. 10 minutes to go, clock running. That looks like a punter. You don't want to punt, but you're not going to come back in the game, so you don't want to make it worse on the scoreboard. Exactly right. As Takes Beatty. a long time to get that kick off. Fair caught. <laughs> We got a round of applause from the uh, fair cut catch by Downers Grove North. You don't hear that a lot, a lot of applause. 47, not on the roster. Able well, I think uh, he was back far enough finally to catch that punt. These punts from normal have been booming, and then they go over the head, and then they don't catch it, and another 10 or 15 yards downfield, right? But this time he caught it, got the fair catch, has the ball, walking off the field with the ref holding onto his shoulders. Lord knows where his helmet went. Under nine minutes to go, one in the backfield. Mama said there'd be days like this. Mama said, and that's just what happened for Normal today. Oh, my. There's a good tackle. Again, Normal's defense isn't giving up here. Well, it's easy to play defense when you know a run's coming. They have passed it a couple of times, though. They have. They've mixed it up. Like you said, they're still running their offense with the backup quarterback. Second and long now, so if you're going to pass, if you're going to stay in your offense, this is the time to do it. At least it was a nice day today. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous, it, it yeah. It feels a lot worse when you get dominated and it's 30 degrees or cold well, now, outside. Well, and now both teams are in the shade. Almost didn't get that handoff. Yeah. But he did get the handoff off, and they ran up the middle, got stuffed. Third and long. At beautiful Karstens Field, home of the Trojans, all DGN today. Good luck trying to beat this team in the championship game, whoever it might be. In Normal, Illinois. That's where I went to college, Illinois State. I have a volleyball player on my team choosing between Harper in his second year or going down to Illinois State. It's hard to talk her into Harper. I had a blast at Illinois State for my two years after Harper. 
Final reminder, text lines open. Your favorite high school, college, or NFL memory. Text 330-957-7653. All FCC regulations do apply. It's getting a little colder at Carson's Field, but still a beautiful day nonetheless. Hesitation move by Jake Wander, and he'll get past the 35-yard line. So clock time, it was like three minutes ago when they got the ball. They didn't get a first down. Now they're punting. So when uh, Normal gets to run their first play, it'll be about six minutes left in the game. One deep for the Ironmen on this punt. Good snap. And the punt is a booming one. <laughs> and yelling out poison is the Ironmen on the play. As that Whoa. ball will find its way inside the 10. Yeah, he picked it up while it was still rolling. I'm a little surprised he did that, but maybe he had a little concern that it was rolling fast and didn't want it to go into the end zone. Whatever, he downed it at the seven yard line. Great punt. Again, the special teams, they're on a mission just like the rest of the team. What do you want to do if you're the Ironman offense? Do you well, just run the ball three times and punt it, or do you no, I run take my, a knee, or do you run your normal offense? Yeah, run my normal offense, see if you can get upfield, at least get one drive going. Uh, you're not going to get far five minutes, six minutes now with the running clock, but uh, yeah, I would run the regular offense. I like the running clock because you don't want to have it be 49, 56, nothing. You know, these are young men. That's just a big beating to take in a semifinal game. Well, I think the onus should be on the coach not to let that happen, not the running clock to I, make that happen. I, I agree, but sometimes it's, it's this game where the Ironmen are trying everything and nothing is working. If you don't have the running clock, no matter what the Ironmen do, it could be 56 nothing, 63 nothing. Well, right, and then and then you hear of like basketball coaches winning 110 to 12 or whatever, and then that coach gets fired, and I'm like, wait a minute. Right. But I think there's a level of sportsmanship most coaches have. When you get right. up 49 to nothing, you, you, yeah. you dummy down the playbook and you do some things where you don't clobber them too badly, but the running clock I don't think is the right answer. The job of the head coach is to put the players in a position to succeed, but the players have to execute. Well, and execute is what Downers Grove North sure did right. today. The play calls were good. Owen Lanza was even better. Just some throws that were on the money. He did throw an interception. It was partially deflected. Yeah, you can't pin that on him. It, was just, it got deflected. It was just what a great play. Want. Knocked that ball right. up in the air and then picked off right. by the Ironman. Just after that, though, nothing went right for the Ironman. Even when they picked off that ball from Lansu, it was a block in the back. Yeah, so right. they were going to be past the 50. Then they went to the wrong side of the 50, and nothing worked today for the Ironman. Right. That, first, was like a, that was like a 30-yard penalty. Their first drive of the game, they fumbled it on third and 15. And we talked about that too on the 30 yard penalty. It took, um, I think, momentum and some heart away from normal on that. Oh gosh, we got the ball. We're 30 yards upfield. Oh no, I guess we're not. Floppy pass. It's complete. As it was complete that time to. So Griffin they're going to have to punt again. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean that. But I mean, it's fourth down and six. They threw a short pass. Why? Throw it down to the first down marker. What do you I, got to lose? Yeah, well, yeah, that, now you're punting. If he catches that, and he did catch it, you're still fourth down and a lot of yards, you right. still got to punt. Do you want to throw it in double, triple coverage when you're already down 42 nothing? the chance of a pick six to make it 49 nothing? I don't know. Well, as long as that was a check down receiver, maybe, but I think you still have to go downfield with the ball. Well, with 3.33 to go, Downers Grove North will get the ball back, unless it's a fake punt. Why not? This is your last game if you're the Ironman. Well, I don't think I'd fake it. They're going to punt it. It's an okay punt as it's near the sideline. 47 decides not to touch it. Clock will keep running. Well, partner, you're going to do the post-game interview. Who do you want, Owen Lansu, Owen Thulin, or uh, Luke Thulin? Ab the... uh, absolutely, Lansu, the quarterback, who is absolutely phenomenal today, if we can get him. And if not, would you rather do Owen or o Oliver Thulin? Both were fabulous today. Wouldn't it be fun to get both, but either one would work. Both would be cool. Yeah. yeah. 
Oliver would be my first choice. Yeah, he's only a sophomore. Yeah, what, oh, interesting. Probably hasn't had a whole lot of interviews in his past then. It just seemed like that pick six changed the complexion of this game. You know, there are certain momentum plays like that, but I think when you win you know, 40, yeah. to, you know, two to nothing, uh, there's no one play right. that stands out, right? It seemed like you could see it from the Ironmen fans, shell shock. They couldn't say anything after that pick six, and then it was all Ironmen. Just couldn't do anything after that. Yes, it's a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I, th I tend to think this is a strength of schedule match here, a uh, game. It's just um, Downers Grove North plays tougher opponents than, than normal, and normal probably if they continue to play a right. tough schedule like Downers Grove North, maybe they take some losses, but they toughen up, and they're probably the same players they've got would be able to stay in a game like this, but, but they just weren't ready for this kind of onslaught. One in the backfield, three wide receiver set. Second and 11. I'm surprised they're not doing victory formation. Why not? The clock's gonna run regardless. But they're gonna run the play clock down to one. They are running that. As another handoff, this time it's gonna be I, uh, Israel Crawford with it. So third and about five, minute 14 to go. Two plays, it'll be over. Won't yet, they won't even have to punt this. Just take a knee. It's going to be a fun one for the Class 7A championship game. Good luck trying to beat Downers Grove North. Back-to-back -back games of blowouts. And for normal, this, this was just a quarterback game. The better quarterback won the show. They won the game today. Beatty just was not up to the task to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lansu today. Hand off. And a short gain for Wander. So we got about 35 seconds to go, and I don't think another play is going to happen here. I think that's it. And that'll do it. 42 to nothing win for Downers Grove North. Final thoughts, partner, before we go to the post-game show. One team was on a mission, and the other team had a magical season come to the end. 12-0 now becomes 12-1, and, and Downers Grove, you know, boy, you got to call them the favorite next week. We'll see what happened. They are ranked number seven. 11-2 now are the Trojans, and they have back-to-back -back dominating wins up in the Chicagoland area. Now they're going down south to try to get their second-ever state title. Right, to my old alma, alma mater. So for our fantastic crew, for Carolyn Jeffess, for Richard Thomas, for Kyle Anderson, Chris Angela, and Bob Vilsaway, I'm Kyle Smith. Post game show coming up next here on SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone.